So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Gareth Bale, for me, has got to be the, the standout man. Uh, renowned for his great pace, he also has a, a crack at shooting range, better than most, and, and he takes a, a very good free kick too. His passing quality, I think that's up there with the best as well, and he's a pretty complete and, and quite phenomenal package. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. There's the whistle. Ampadu drives it forward. Ramsey. Just brushed off the ball there. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Hoists it forward. Lovely bit of skill. He's had a shot! Still goalless at the moment. Davis gets it back. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. He's still going. Where to next? Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Played it again. They've managed to get it away. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Bale. Dinks one in. And he's cut it out. Forward it goes. Now the counter. Davis. That is an adventurous run down the left-hand side. He's come loose. Looks to drop one in. Keeper's ball. And the whistle goes for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And we are already promptly back on the way. Wales clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Gets the better of his man. Oh, well defended. That had to be done.
Bale. He's looked long this time. Has a hit! No mistake! And finally, he has breathed life into the game! The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. Wales take the lead. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worked a treat. Gets wrestled off the ball. Could move up a gear here. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, while the temptation's always there, Peter, I think it would be ill-advised of them to try settle for what they've got. And that's found its target. Oh, nice touch. Plenty waiting in the middle. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. It's come from... Hits one! And it's played forward. Out towards the flank. Ampadu gets rid without sophistication. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Bale. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Hoists it forward. It's a throw in. Wales are making a change now. Brooks. Lovely feet. Ramsey. And he's going long. And it's Ramsey. Lovely bit of skill there. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Defending of the desperate variety. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. 
Well, this game looked to have nil-nil written all over it, but credit to them, they upped their game in the end, and I thought they got what they deserved. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin, and goodbye from us.